Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahabushai, Bahasham, Rakahakwadash, Barakatum. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahabushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. In peace and salutations to you, sincere Akim out there. Pushing this word in truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. This is the Brother Raya with another video, and in this video, I'll be profiling an article from nypost.com titled, Uber Driver Allegedly Confess to Graping, Killing Shanti Dixon After Picking Her Up from Work at a Strip Club. And hey, this is just another example in a long list of examples of uh, incidents that have been taking place lately in regards to you women. In America with you know assaults you know graping killings etc etc and the reason these things are intensifying is because we're getting closer and closer to Jacob's trouble where all hell is gonna break loose and the main target you know I guess I'll say you know pretty much everybody who's wicked is gonna be a target but one of the main targets out there is gonna be you women especially you women of the tribes of the 12 tribes of Israel consisting of you so-called black, Latino, and Native American women, especially with that so-called black woman over these last couple of decades, you've done your best job at alienating your own men from you by what? Calling the cops on them over any little thing, you know, putting them on child support, playing the harlot out here. The list goes on and on. And we are, uh, you know, Getting to the time where Esau Edom, the so-called white man, especially in America's system, which has set up feminism and has set you women on high, it's starting to collapse and that hedge of protection that you've had over you is quickly falling away. So it would behoove, you know, you uh, women of the tribes, if you come across uh, this message or, you know, similar messages from the men of the Lord, the prophets telling you to get right, to get right. Because when Jacob's trouble pops off, a hey, only those who are being diligent under Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai and not being diligent unto the ways of this world are going to make it. And even then, you women, a hey, you're going to be saved by and through getting with a man of the Lord. But before we go any further, this is Isaiah chapter 32. I'm going to read verses 9 to... Uh, I'll read to about verse 12. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. And this is first and foremost speaking to you Israelite women. Because this is who this message is only for. The children of Israel. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. And like I just said, you women have been at ease under Esau Edom's system. You know, getting these government benefits, having birth control, allowed to be a strong, independent, single mother. You know, getting these lucrative government and corporate jobs, etc., etc. Esau rising you up over your own men so that you could look down on your men and what? Think you can do it on your own. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. And what we're about to read about in that article is an example of ye careless women, Israelite women being troubled. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. And that vintage is speaking about all these benefits Esau Edom has given you. His system is crumbling, so what? You can't as easily rely on those three magic numbers. 911, a lot of men don't want to deal with you besides, you know, sexual gratification. <laughs> so you're living on your own. You know, you're getting less money from those government benefits. You know, these uh, inflation is rising, these prices. So those lucrative jobs you have, you're having to spend more money to survive. And you're just uh, hurting out here. And we haven't even gotten to, you know, the collapse of society yet to where, hey, you're going to be one of the main targets out here for you dwelling carelessly 
and just the this uh you know proud impudent attitude you've had toward your men verse 11 tremble ye women that are at ease be troubled ye careless ones strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins and what the majority of you Israelite women well shit you Israelite women should be doing right now is what being in a state of mourning just like the Israelite man should be in a state of mourning you know getting closer to their power Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai and doing whatever they can to please him yesterday we had the day of atonement where we were to you know fast you know not eat or drink so we could afflict ourselves and ask for the most high to you know atone for you know any any places we've come short and you know the hopeful elect were doing that but for the majority of our people it was just another day to commit sin especially you women they shall lament for the teats for the pleasant fields for the fruitful vine you know all these amenities that these metropolises or mother cities have afforded you women to allow you to dwell at ease and carelessly they shall lament for the teats for the pleasant field it's like i just read that for the fruitful vine verse 13 upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and briars hard times yeah upon all the houses of joy in the joyous city and what we're about to read about is uh, what thorns and briars affecting you know you careless women out here and this is just the beginning it's only going to get worse from here on out hey there was a, a saying that a uh, ks you know k samuels had where he said winter is coming you know for you so-called black women but you know winter is coming for all you women in this western mindset out here but those that are going to feel it the worst are you women of the tribes an uber driver confessed to graping and killing a young mom he picked up from work at an indianapolis strip club according to cops and so we can't say you know i'm gonna just cut it to you straight we can't say that this was you know a, a wholesome you know a mother and a family this was a single mother who was a stripper which what do you do with that job you show your body to make money so more more than likely when she got in that uber car you know she was uh, dressed provocatively <laughs> for but hey that comes from uh, you you know you dwelling carelessly you know because of a uh, the society that's been built up to protect you at at uh, every instance and give you no accountability you know you women just think you can go around here and do what you want and that's like what a lamb going among amongst a bunch of hungry wolves driver francisco Valet valadez 29 was arrested tuesday in the gruesome death of conti dixon 30 who was found the day before with a fatal gunshot wound in a wooded area behind her home this is disgusting police chief chris bailey said it's disturbing no one deserves to be treated this way in our community and hey this was judgment from yahabu bahasham yahabashai for whatever wickedness this woman committed in her past life or in this current life and, you know with her being a stripper you know i can uh assume that she's committed a lot of wickedness out there and what does it say in job i believe chapter four whoever perished being innocent Hey, she wasn't able to call 911 and get saved before she got sent back to the spirit world. Assistant Chief of Police Catherine Cummings agreed, saying the horde attack hits differently for women. Women, girls, mothers, we have a right to exist freely in our community without fear of something heinous happening to them. We have a right to walk, bike, order a ride share without fearing something bad will happen to them she said and you know how can i put this I'm trying to think think of the correct way to put this you know i get what i get what that lady's saying you know you know a woman <laughs> shouldn't just go out there and expect some horrific shit to happen to him but you know you women dwell carelessly out here you dress provocatively you know on the weekends, what do you do? What a lot of you do, not all of you. You know, you get drunk, 
you get high, you know, you just gad abroad walking around at, you know, 12 to 3 o'clock in the morning just thinking that nothing bad's going to happen. But that is just dwelling carelessly. And hey, let me just give you an example because, you know, I know a lot of you women think this way and I've had even women say this to me. Oh, well, you know, you know, you shouldn't think that way. That's wrong. Women should be able to do, you know, whatever they want or what men shouldn't be, you know, that act the way they act. But you got to dwell. You got You got to move circumspectly out here. It's like if I were to, you know, wear a five hundred dollar suit, drive a, you know, a Lexus or a Mercedes and go park in the middle of a ghetto or a bad area and, you know, just get out of the car, open all the doors, leave it turned on with the keys and just stand there with money in my pockets. What do you think would happen? Yeah, it would be fucked up if I got robbed and beat up or even killed. But what? I put myself in that situation because I thought nothing was going to happen. I was being ignorant. And it's no different for you women out there, which as these situations get worse and worse out here, you're going to learn that you're not so strong and independent and that you do need a man. And also, I'm going to try not to go off on too many tangents, but when uh, that situation happened with Sonia Massey a couple of months ago, you had a lot of women say that, look, you had men say it too, but you know this situation would have never happened if what? Sonia Massey had a man in the house because the reason she called was uh because she thought there was a prowler outside you know if she had a real man dealing with you know she if she was dealing with a real man you know was being a a dutiful wife or whatever that man to protect his woman would have went outside and handled the situation but since a lot of you women of the tribes want to be strong bad and independent you know i can do bad all by myself and she called the cops and the cops sent her to the spirit world Hey, this woman wanted to be a single mother who was a stripper and just, you know, think that everything was going to be all right. But what? Now she's in the spirit world. Dixon was found in a wooded area behind her house with a fatal gunshot wound, according to court documents. By looking at her phone, detectives learned Valadez gave Dixon a ride home through the Uber app at 334 a.m. and for anybody man or woman and hey, you got no business being out at 3 34 a.m. you know of course unless you're working or you know you're clearly with a group of people this was a a single woman you know coming home from the strip club early in the morning dressed provocatively it was a recipe for disaster and oh i remembered one thing i wanted to say you know, there was an Eve I used to deal with. And, uh, you know, it was uh, after I'd hung out with her the previous day, you know, I was going to leave that next day. And, you know, she had some errands to go run. And she was wearing, you know, I wouldn't say it was a really short skirt, but it was windy that day. So when the wind blew, you know, it, it, would, it would easily, you know, <laughs> blow the skirt up shorter than what it already wa already was. So I told her, look, you, you probably don't want to be dressing like that with the wind blowing and you know because it was a short skirt and you know she was like oh you know there's going to be no problems well then later on in the day she gave me a call and said oh my god you know i was just walking and a guy rode up on his bike and had his dick out in his hand and you know what i told her hey you shouldn't have been dressed like that and instead of considering what i had told her earlier you know she got on me called me you know uh you know, pretty much you know, sexist, misogynist, all that stuff. But what if she wouldn't address provocatively? Well, I can't say the situation wouldn't have happened because you got freaks out here. But, you know, you dressing provocatively like that didn't help the situation. But I say that to say this, you know, you women dwell carelessly out here thinking you have liberty to get abroad without consequences. Well, with that vintage failing, hey, that protection and security you once had is being pulled away from you. So you should be walking more circumspectly out here. Valadez allegedly gave cops two different stories before admitting to shooting Dixon in the back of his car, the document stated. 
He told police he picked up Dixon, but an armed black man came up to the car and tried to rob her, according to Fox 8. And, you, you know, you can see the demon on this guy in his mugshot. Now, listen to this. Valadez added that the suspect shot Dixon in the thigh and that she kicked herself out of the, his car and he fled the scene. Police wrote in a court document. He also said that he had cleaned the blood out of his car. That's not the point I wanted to get. But police also reportedly spoke with Valadez's mother, who said her son owned a gun that he regularly carried. And I mean, look at all the pictures that's shown of this Eve right here. You know, she got the the cumbrella eyelashes on, heavy makeup, and you know, dressed provocatively, getting off of work at three something in the morning. Again, a recipe for disaster. Now, you know, I may be looking a little too much into the situation, and maybe the the correct story will come out later. But I'm gonna read this paragraph and uh, you know see what you think of my opinion of it. Valadez later admitted to sexually assaulting Dixon, during which she insulted his body. So, you know, well, causing him to become so enraged that he shot her in the head. Now, I'm a, I could be wrong, but I'm thinking about it like this. So, he's uh, essaying the woman, and in the midst of that, he gets offended by her insulting his body. Well, if you were going with your move anyway, what, what would you give a damn about the woman's opinion? So, hey, it could be, you know, he offered her some money. You know, they were doing business that way. She insulted him or did something he didn't like. And then what? That led to him putting her down. After the shooting, he dragged her lifeless body out of his car before trying to have, uh, you know, XES with her dead body, the outlet reported. So he had a whole demon on him out there. And you know, he looks he looks like he could be Northern Kingdom and has a Northern Kingdom name, but hey, he could be a Edomite Spaniard as well, you know, getting down with that uh necrophilia. Hey, but regardless, hey, this woman got put down, and this is just a you know an appetizer for some of the horrific stuff that's going to be happening to you women out here. But before we continue, I'm going to go to Jeremiah chapter 40, verses 30 to 31. And what this is ultimately talking about is Israel being likened unto a woman, you know, looking to, the, looking to many lovers or these different heathen nations for help. And what? Israel not getting help and these uh, different nations actually coming for her to put her to death but hey in the spirit it can be likened to you women as well because with our women more often than not they don't look to their man for help they look down on their man because uh you know the so-called negro latino and native american man you know isn't in a position of power right now so who do they mainly look to esau edom the government as their lover for help but you know this devil has used you to break up the family and create these single parent households out here, which leads to what, you know, sodomitish and a uh, bull dagger behavior, you know, daughters being whores, sons being thugs and just complete madness. And now that Esau's done with you, what? He's thrown you to the side. He's destroyed the so-called black family. And then also he's coming out of power. So even if he wanted to protect you, hey, you're just a, uh, a zero sum cost. So he's cutting off his losses and you women are going to be asked out out here. And as we saw in that article, that man came for her. And what in this day, a lot of men are going to be coming after you in general, because what women are the weaker vessel. And you've got a lot of sexually frustrated men out here. And then on top of that, you women have screwed over countless numbers of men and best believe they haven't forgotten especially if there's children involved, they're going to be looking to get some revenge on you in that day. But this is Jeremiah chapter 40, verses 30 to 31. And when thou art spoiled, what will thou do? Hey, this woman was spoiled, and what could she do? Nothing but take that judgment. Though thou clotheth thyself with crimson, 
Though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face with paint, you know, looking good out here. You know, that's a, you know, an attractive woman, in my opinion. Now, if she took off a waist trainer, if she had one, or the makeup, it might be a different story. But what? This woman was, uh, you know, she decked out in those pictures. And if she's just getting off the job, you know, she probably was wearing some provocative clothing as well. But in vain shalt thou make thyself fair. Thy lovers will despise thee. They will seek thy life. And hey, that woman's life was sook and took, you know, that night that she uh, went back to the spirit world. For I've heard a voice as of a woman in travail. And the anguish as of her that bringeth forth her first child, the voice of the daughter of Zion, that bewaileth herself, that spreadeth her hands, saying, Woe is me now, for my soul is wearied because of the murderers. And hey, these murderers are already getting active with you women right now. But when that vintage, when society truly collapses, it's going to be hell to tell the captain, as uh, the elder of our camp down here says, with as many men as you women have screwed over, a lot of men don't want to deal with you. So a lot of you won't have that protective hedge over you. And you're just going to be open to the elements. Like this woman, Shinta Dixon, or Conti Dixon in this article was. And she's not making a good case for herself with these pictures she posted. But you now that's it with that article. You get the point. But like I've been saying throughout the video, this is just another example in a long list of examples of the terrible times that are about to befall you women out here, but especially you women of the tribes of Israel. Now I'm going to close it out in Zechariah chapter 14, verses 1 to 2. Behold, the day of Yahweh cometh. Jacob's trouble and thy spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee for I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle and Jerusalem is a people before it's a place so this is talking about the nation of Israel especially the two-thirds in the United States of America and you know with this migrant situation going on you've got heathens from all different nations flooding into this country and you know some of them have already started assaulting you women out here. What do you think is going to happen when society truly collapses? And then again, a lot of those men coming across the border are uh, military sleeper cells just waiting to get the call to what? Get to work. The, and the city shall be taken and the house is rifled and the women ravished, graped, essayed out here. And half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the residue of the people shall be cut off from the city. And when you read Second Esdras chapter 16, what does it say? That they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. And they shall cast them out of their houses with their goods. Hey, the house is rifled, and what? And half the city shall go into captivity. A lot of you jakes are going to have your doors kicked in. You dragged out of your houses, you know, your goods being stolen and what? Either you getting sent to the spirit world on the spot or getting sent to one of these detention centers to get tortured to death. And hey, in the midst of that, a lot of you women are going to be the main target to these men out here. But that's it with this video. You know, with this video, I hope you sincere Akim and Akwath were edified. Just keep strong and keep doing whatever you can to please Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Because as we can see, the days are getting darker out here and the love of many is waxing cold and iniquity or lawlessness is abounding. And we're going to need all the help from Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai we can get to make it through these times of Jacob's trouble. So as always, I'm going to say a Bob Babo, Kwam Yasharala. And until next time, Shalom.